Hello friends, my name is Anand. In this video, I am going to create the solutions for solutions videos for India Bigs problems on trains. Let's start. A train first problem is a train running at a speed of 60 kmph crosses a pole in 9 seconds. What is the length of the train? Here one train is there and another pole is there. Train is moving at 60 kmph speed. It crosses the pole in 9 seconds. What is the length of the train? Only formula we need to remember for the problems on train is distance is equal to speed into time. So distance we need to consider only the train length because pole length is negligible compared to the train. Distance let us assume D is the length of the train. Speed is 60. Here either all in meter second or kilometer per second. Kilometer per hour sorry. Here speed is in kilometer per hour, remaining distance is in meters and time is in seconds. So we need to convert this kilometer per hour into meter per second. For that we need to multiply into 5 by 18 into t. t is 9 seconds. So this is 2 times, this is 30 times. So d is equal to 150 meters. Option d. Next problem. A train 125 meters long, one train is there 125 meters long, passes a man who is running at 5 km per hour, 5 km per hour, sorry, 5 km per hour, in which the train is going in 10 seconds. Both the train and man is going in the same direction. It cr train crosses the man in 10 seconds. We need to find out the speed of the train. So for that we know the formula distance is equal to speed into time. Distance we need to consider only the distance length of the train because man uh, length is negligible. So 125 meters. Here options are in kilometer per hour. So we need to convert these meters into kilometers. For that we need to divide by 1000 equals to speed. Speed is both the things are moving both man and train are moving in the same direction if the both are moving in the same direction we need to subtract let us assume the speed of the train is yes minus 5 km per hour only into time is 10 seconds 10 seconds we need to convert into hours for that we need to divide by 60 into 60 5 0 0 cancel this 0 this 0 cancel 5 table 25 times 5 table 20 5 table 5 5 table 4 times 2 table 3 times 2 table 2 times we need to simplify this 3 3 is a 9 so s minus 5 s minus 5 is equal to 9 5 is 45 s is equal to 50 kmbh kilometer per hour option b next video next problem the length of the bridge one bridge is there which a train 130 meters long and traveling at train is traveling at 45 kmph speed can cross in 30 seconds time 30 seconds we need to find out the length of the bridge formula is distance equal to speed into time here distance means the length of the bridge plus length of the time we assume the length of the bridge as d both the distances we need to add plus 130 meters is equal to speed kilometer per hour we need to convert into meter per second for that 5 by 18 into 30 6 table 5 times 3 times 15 15 25 15 into 25 is 75, 30, 375, 375, d is equal to 375 minus 130 is 245 meters, 245 meters, correct. Fourth problem. 
two trains running in opposite direction crosses a man standing on a platform in 27 seconds and 17 seconds respectively and they cross each other in 23 seconds the ratio of their speeds two trains are there it crosses the first one person in 27 seconds distance is equal to speed into time here distance is train dist, uh, train length in the speed we don't know let us assume s1 and the time is 27 seconds another train is there another train here both the trains are crossing each other and they cross each other in 23 seconds both the trains are in running in opposite direction one train is assumed this direction and the train comes in this direction in the second case distance is distance of the length of the second train d2 is equal to speed of the second train is s2 in 17 seconds okay third case two trains are there opposite direction they cross each other in 23 seconds distance means d1 plus d2 both the distance we need to consider d1 plus d2 is equal to speed both the trains are moving in opposite direction so we need to add s1 plus s2 into time is 23 seconds we need to find out s1 by s2 so we need to eliminate d1 and d2 from these two equations this one and this one d1 is 27 s1 d2 is 17 s2 is equal to 23 s1 plus 23 s2 so 4 s1 equals to 6 s2 s1 by s2 is equal to 3 by 2 option b for all the problems we need to remember only from one formula distance is equal to speed into time if the uh, distances if the bridge is there we need bridge and train are there then we need to add those two lengths if only uh, one train and the uh, pole is there we need to take the pole length only pole or man only we need to take only uh, train length sorry next and if the both the uh, both are moving in opposite direction we need to add the both the speed if both are uh, uh, moving in same direction we need to subtract we need to consider the relative speed that is how we need to consider next fifth problem a train passes a station platform in on platform is there on train is there train passes station platform in 36 seconds and a man on the platform another case man is there it crosses in 20 seconds the speed of the train is 54 kilometer per hour kilometer per hour what is the length of the platform let us assume l first case distance is distance of the train plus let us assume l1 l2 l1 plus l2 is equal to speed 54 we will convert uh, options are in meters time is in seconds so we will convert this kmbh into meter per second for that 5 by 18 into time 36 so 18 2 times l1 plus l2 is equal to 540 second case distance is equal to speed into time distance is only train length speed is 54 into 5 by 18 time is 20 seconds so this is 3 times uh, 300 what we have to find what is the length of the platform length of the platform is l2 l1 is 300 from here l1 plus l2 is equal to 540 substitute this one here so we will get l2 is equal to 240 option b this is the first page next page i will do in the next video if you like this content please like it will give the motivation to create more videos and i am going to create uh, aptitude solutions for all these uh, problems in india bigs and some other websites in all, on all the topics 
and then after that i will do the coding problems also and then multiple choice questions for c and python which are useful very much useful for the interviews so if you want uh, more content if you want to see the more content please subscribe and if it is you if you think it is useful for your friends please share to your friends thank you